All right, we're going to be doing some pre-algebra review today. So um, I'm going to split it into two videos. This video is going to go over order of operations. So this should sound familiar. There's normally two ways that people explain order of operations. So you may have seen, seen PEMDAS or you may have heard of please, so P, excuse for the E, my for the M, dear for the D, aunt for the A, Sally for the S. Okay, so either one of those, whichever one's easier for you to remember. Um, the P, remember, stands for parentheses. So this is the order that you work out the problem. E is exponents, M is multiplication, D for division, A is addition, S is subtraction. And those are written above each other because once you get down to like addition and subtraction, you just go in order just like you're reading from left to right. So let's practice some. got the first one. We we're going to have 3 times 5 minus 2 times 4. Now you're going to see me writing parentheses for multiplication and I want you guys to get used to that because we're going to have variables a lot more in Algebra 1 and an X can very easily look like a multiplication sign and a dot or sorry an X can very much look like a yeah multiplication sign for the X like 3 times 5, it's hard to know that that's not 3x and then a 5. And then our dot for 3 times 5 a lot of times starts looking like a decimal because it's not very far off. So I'm going to get try to get you guys in the habit of using the parentheses for multiplication. So for this one, we don't have parentheses, okay? We don't have any exponents. We do have m, multiplication, so I'm going to do that first. 3 times 5 is 15 minus 2 times 4 is 8 and now we're down to just subtraction so we go ahead and just finish the problem to get 7. Okay the next one we're going to do 8 over 4 minus 2 times 1. Again 8 over 4 think of that as division. Um, I just don't use the division sign very often just because I don't want it to start looking like a plus sign so that's where we're going to start. We have no parentheses, no exponents. We do have multiplication division, so I'm going to do those first. 8 divided by 4 would be 2. 2 times 1 would be 2. Now we're down to adding and subtracting, so 2 minus 2 is 0. Try one more like that. We have 9 minus 7 squared plus 3 minus 7. So for this one, we do have an exponent, but we're going to start with our P, our parentheses, first. So 9 minus 7 is 2, and I'm just going to do this one step at a time so I don't lose track of my steps. Now I have an exponent, so 2 squared is 4. Bring down the rest, and now I'm down to just adding and subtracting, so I go from left to right just like I'm reading. 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 minus 7 is 0. Okay, I want you guys to write this next one down. So this is your first practice problem on your own, and I want you to pause the video work it out and see what you get. So we have negative 8 plus 3 times 5 plus 2 squared. All right, let's try some harder ones. Now we have number 4. So we have 3, and when I have multiple parentheses in a problem, I start using brackets just because I think it looks a little bit neater, but technically you could use that bracket as a parenthesis. Okay, so here's our next problem. And again, the brackets work just like parentheses, so we can do that first. Oh, I forgot a 2. Throw a 2 in there. All right, so we have the parentheses first. So I'm going to simplify all this stuff inside the parentheses. Within that, we have multiplication, which is what we need to do first. So I'm going to bring that 5 down, plus 2 times 2 is 4, and then bring that 4 squared down. I still have those parentheses, so 5 plus 4 would be 9. Okay, 
Now I did my parentheses, now I'm on my exponents. So we have 3 times 9 minus 4 squared, or 4 times 4 is 16. Remember, it's not 4 times 2, it's 4 times 4. All right, and now we have our next step, which is multiplication, m. 3 times 9 would be 27 minus 16. And now we're down to subtracting, so go ahead and subtract, and that leaves you with 11. Okay, um, let's do a couple more like that because I want to make sure that we have the multi-step ones down. So the next one we're going to do 9 plus 2 times 6 over 3. Now when you have this all in a fraction, essentially the stuff on top is kind of like in its own parentheses and then the stuff on the bottom would be in its own parentheses. So we simplify the top, we simplify the bottom, and then deal with the division. So for this one on the top, I need to simplify all this stuff, which we have 9 plus 2 times 6. Well, if we go back to PEMDAS, my M is what comes before adding and subtracting. So I'm going to multiply first. So really on top I have 9 plus 12. I'm going to bring my bottom down because there's nothing to simplify down there. And now on top, now I can do addition. So 9 plus 12 would be what? We have 21 bring the bottom down. Now I can divide because I already simplified that whole top, dude. So now I can do 7 for my answer. Let's do another one like that. All right, so number 6. So 28 over 3 times 4 minus 2 times 5. So again, the stuff on top is seen as one parenthesis. The stuff on the bottom is seen as another parenthesis. So we're going to start on the bottom because the top's already simplified. So I can bring that 28 over. And then on the bottom, I need to do my multiplication first. So we have 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 5 is 10. Simplify the bottom a little bit more. 12 minus 10 is 2. Now we can divide to get 14. So again, I want you to do one on your own. Okay, so write this one down. 9 squared minus 18 over 3, and then a plus 21. And that 18 over 3 plus 21 is going to be in parentheses. So go ahead and write that one down. Pause the video and try it on your own.